Hi there, my name is Kate Young, and I'm the Director of Events at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts. On this virtual tour, I'm going to take you through our Hamilton building and explain how weddings or social events might work in our spaces. PAFA is the oldest museum and art academy in the country, and you'll see our historic building on the left here and our Hamilton building on the right. Just a block down Broad Street is City Hall. Here, you'll see that our Lenfest Plaza connects these two buildings into one campus. PAFA's Hamilton building was built in 1916 as a car showroom, and those wide open spaces work perfectly for our museum today in the first three floors of this building. This space is really perfect for those that want a more modern city aesthetic or those that have groups larger than the 150 person maximum of the historic building. Guests would enter the building off of Broad Street into this main lobby and then check their coats at a staffed coat check exactly where we're standing just to the left. Our event team will welcome your guests into the first floor and invite them to go up the main staircase or up two large elevator bays to the second gallery level. The entire building is private to your event, but pretty much all of the entertaining will happen on that second floor. Here's a little view of what that same space looks like in the evening with some more subtle lighting. So now we're at the top of those stairs, essentially looking out from where the elevators would bring you. This second floor consists of three main galleries that are distinct but able to connect in a really seamless way. Um, this view at the top of the stairs looks forward towards Broad Street and catches a glimpse of the reception space on your left that we'll explore later. This is kind of a side view, also looking out towards the galleries, but it catches your right hand side, and that's the Sculpture Study Center. That space is often used for a cocktail reception, but can also be a multi-purpose space. For example, we sometimes have babysitters with children in there, or we'll turn it into a specialty bar. There's really a lot of flexibility in terms of layout with the spaces. As we walk to the very front of the building, we come to the Tuttleman Gallery. This is a really great space with floor-to-ceiling windows running the entire width of the building. It has a great view of Broad Street, a glimpse of City Hall, and the convention center that lights up at night. PAFA's spaces are really customizable, and so if you're just using the Hamilton Building, we'd probably use the Tuttleman Gallery as ceremony and a bit of cocktail hour. If you are just using it for a reception space or perhaps even a corporate event, this would be a cocktail hour space before we head into a reception. Here's another quick glimpse of that Tuttleman Gallery facing northwards. You'll see more of those windows and just how big it is. We have plenty of room to put lots of bars in here, high and low cocktail tables, escort cards, Lounges are really popular, so that's really the fun of planning at a museum is that we can kind of guide you towards really fun and unique designs for you. So now I'm going to show you some examples of what ceremonies really look like in this space. You'll see that our gold shivari chairs that come with your rental are all there ready for your ceremony and that depending on the season, the lighting level in the space can be really different. So you'll see summer and winter weddings here. So here we're going to start to see some cocktail hour or reception spaces. I'm going to filter through a couple different designs, both for corporate and weddings, 
And I think you'll enjoy seeing some of the lounges and specialty things that we can do in this space as people wait for the dinner and dancing. Here is that sculpture study center that's really close to the staircase that I mentioned at the beginning. Again, this space can be used for a cocktail hour. It can be used as kind of extra space or sometimes we'll just close it. So there's some flexibility. It's another beautiful room with nice big windows and I wanted to show it to you before we head into the reception. So until this portion of the night, your guests have really only seen part of the museum and we'll eventually open four pocketed big wooden doors and reveal the dinner and dancing space, which will be really set up beautifully for your guests. And that's how we'll transition them to dinner and dancing and toasts. You'll see that this space is really big and it does have some columns, which sometimes people are worried about. But as long as we're under 320 guests, we don't need anybody to have a bad beat. Lighting looks really great in this building because of the white columns and white space. And I think in this picture, you can start to see the difference between something called pin spotting, which is shining light down from the ceiling and putting essentially a spot on something like the flowers on your table versus something called uplighting, which just means that you put light on the floor and shine it upwards, which is on our columns. Of course, the museum art and lighting kind of stays the same, but we can certainly dim those lights. And then most of our couples in this space choose to add a little extra specialty lighting, and we can kind of guide you in the right direction on that. So you may notice looking at these pictures that the space can look really different depending on the design vision of the couple. So this particular one is very modern and kind of sleek but full. And then this one is totally different. It's modern in a different way. It's a summer wedding. They did beautiful kind of farm tables and specialty chair upgrades. And so really that's the fun part for us is that each wedding here feels very different. We only book about 25 max a year so we have extra time to focus on you and become friends with you and really um, make the wedding feel extra special that's really our signature that we try and shoot for every single time so thanks so much for taking a look at the Hamilton building with me I can't wait to connect with you about all the other details of planning a wedding at the Academy of Fine Arts and um, can't wait to actually show it to you in person